Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you all how I made Wolfenstein 3D using Concept 3. Before I get into this, recently I've been using a new theme for Concept 3. It is called Dark CSS by Mitsa Ashish. I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. I was given this for free to show this off and so I can get more attention to other people. Really good theme and, it's and it looks really professional. Go check out the link in the description. Now let's get started. Concept 3 added a new 3D camera. It has basic features like rotating the camera, setting its position to a sprite, and most importantly, setting the camera parallel to the layout. From this, you can make a quite basic but pretty good FPS game. Concept 3 had added a first person shooter preset. When I saw this, I immediately thought of making a really iconic game made during the 90s. It is, as you can tell by the title, Wolfenstein 3D. I first added the basic mechanics. This was quite easy. I added this code FPS mechanics. I now searched the internet for textures of the walls used for the game, which I found after some time. The link to the uh, images will be given in the description. I added these textures to the walls and now it started to look pretty cool. I now set the color of the layer to this light gray. So they look like Wolfenstein 3D. I now added some decoration like lamps and barrels which was included in the picture of the textures. Now I look the level design. This was pretty hard because Concept 3 has a 3D camera but not actually a 3D layout. And the 3D camera can only, can only be controlled through code. So how the level design for FPS works in Concept 3 is that you make a top down game and set the camera power to the layout. So I placed the 3D cubes so it looks so it looks somewhat like a level. I now added enemies which I found on the internet. Again, the link will be given in the description. This is the code. The gun on the player are put on the screen looked weird. This is because I used a scout ray to do this. After I discovered that there was a 3D and 2D layer from this tweet, the gun looked much better. Lastly, I added the doors. I added a 3D object and set its left face to only be visible, and then I set uh, it to the door texture. I now added a tween behavior to it and set it to tween to the right if you were overlapping a sprite and pressing up the spacebar. It's kind of scuffed, but at this point my exams were starting, so I had to finish this. The C3P, the C3P file has been given in the description. You can expand the game or make your own FPS with this temp template. I hope you enjoyed this.